Hey guys, in today's video, I want to talk about iOS 18.1 Developer Beta 4. Now, the beta has been out for several days now for all iPhones. And of course, I did cover this initially. So if you want to watch my initial coverage, I'll link that in the description down below. But in today's video, I wanted to give you guys a quick follow-up to share with you guys additional new features and changes that I've come across after using iOS 18.1 Beta 4 for several days. Now, I want to start off with the camera application on iPhone right here. So let's jump into the camera application and let me show you a new option now available which is called spatial mode. So basically this allows you to capture spatial photos and videos on your iPhone as you can see right there. So we now have a dedicated section for spatial photos and videos. Now when you first launch the photos application or the camera application on your iPhone running iOS 18.1, you'll get greeted with this right here, spatial mode. Apple gives you a description of what it is. Obviously this captures photos and videos with depth so that you can watch it in the photos application on a Vision Pro. So I'm happy to see that we have a dedicated section for spatial videos and photos. If you haven't ever seen a spatial video or photo, I recommend you do go into an Apple store if you don't have Vision Pro and try it out. It is really, really Really cool. Now, something else minor within iOS 18.1 that I've noticed under the calculator is that the menu here, the history, no longer comes out of the left here. It actually pops up from the bottom of the screen. So when you tap into the history, it now pops up from the bottom of the screen inside of the calculator app. Now, something minor, but I did want to point that out because I think it's much better than popping out from the side of the screen, taken away from the calculator itself. Now, something big that's coming to iOS 18.1 is the fact that Every iPhone will now be capable of recording and transcript phone calls. And again, I've tested this on every single iPhone from the iPhone 10R to the iPhone 11, 12, 13, 14. All iPhones can do call recording and transcripts on iOS 18.1. So that's a welcome change. Obviously, you want to go into the settings here, go into your apps, find the phone extension here. If you've updated to iOS 18.1, right there it is. And under the phone extension, you have the call recording right there it is. And you can enable call recording again on all iPhones running iOS 18.1. So that's also a welcome change. Now, 9to5Mac also mentions that iOS 18.1 is to enable RCS messaging on iPhone for users in China. So that's also a welcome change for that region. RCS is rolling out across the US and other nations across the world on iPhone. So I recommend you all turn on the RCS messaging. It is a much better experience with messaging other platforms. And there you guys have it. Just a quick update on iOS 18.1 developer beta 4. Stay tuned for more. Obviously, I'll continue covering the betas. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.